On the Capitol Watch, a new proposal could cut property taxes, especially on farmland, but could increase income taxes, especially for wealthier Nebraskans, to pay for it. And it all comes down to schools. KATV News Watch 7's Andrew Ozaki has the details from Lincoln. Rising property taxes, especially in the rural areas, due to land values more than doubling in the past five years. It's a growing concern, say many state leaders. Agriculture and, and property just can't sustain these uh, increases any longer. Senator Al Davis from Hyannis laid out his pathway to relief. It would increase income tax 19% of state liability for families. That money would be earmarked and returned directly to the individual school district it came from, directly lowering its reliance on property taxes. Then the state school aid formula, which weighs a district's ability to pay versus its need, would be changed, giving more money per student and valuing ag land less. That would give money to those districts that rely heavily on property taxes from farms and ranches, some of which never receive state aid. Finally, school boards with a supermajority vote would have the option to impose an additional local income tax of up to 10 percent. All classes of property will benefit from this bill, and average working Nebraskans, average people, will see reductions in the property tax paid on their homes, which will more than offset the additional income tax that they will be paying. In areas where there's more income, like the Omaha Metro and Lincoln, districts would get less of the state aid pie, but it would be made up by wealthier individuals paying more to fund schools. Middle income families um, have a net benefit and our high income families pay a little bit more. There are always winners and losers. The chair of the Revenue Committee says it's too early to comment on Davis's plan and expects a number of competing proposals, including the governor's, lawmakers will have to consider. Difficult decisions usually require a difficult analysis. It isn't going to be easy. All Davis knows is something needs to change, and soon. In Lincoln, Andrew Ozaki, KETV, News Watch 7. And Governor Pete Ricketts is expected to release his property tax relief proposal later this month. Lincoln.